They see everything. They see everything. everything so, you, you guys, see, so tell me you can see that stamp, the Maricopa <clears throat> County Office of the Medical Examiner. Everything you see, just, they, they see. see. Okay, fine. Everything you see, they see. Okay, so we're going to go down here. So remember, I, we showed you guys the, the death certificate, you know, on, on May 8th. And, um, you know, we thought that would be enough. But, you know, since he wanted to keep going, it was, it was apparent that he did not have this. And like I said, this is stuff that he should have known before, you know, he started running his mouth with all these, all these just absurdities. So, like I said... There's the official cause once again, and it gave the, here's the summary. Can you guys see that? The real deal. So, you know, like I said, based on the above findings, the reported circumstances of death and all other investigative information received to date and as available to me, it is my opinion that the descendant of McCormick, 39-year-old male, died as a result of arteriosclerotic and hypertensive cardiovascular disease. The manner of death is natural. And it's like I said, as with all death investigations, opinions expressed here are amendable to change should new, reliable, and pertinent information come to light, which tells me that is not the case for his investigation because we otherwise I would not have this report. They would not release it until all of the findings are settled. It would be an open case. And like I said, when, it's, when it involves the medical examiner, if if it's if it's a homicide, that case is open and law enforcement is involved every step of the way. Okay, so this is the the main page, and we're going to scroll down where it talks about the post mortem examination. Um, it it right here. Here's the evidence of medical intervention: the endotracheal tube. He had catheters. He had the the fibular passes, the the electrocardiograph patches. So all that stuff. And here's, here's the external, external examination of his body. Can you guys see all this? Yeah. They can see everything. Okay. Make sure, yeah, they can see So it. I wanted you guys to see this because this also proves that, yes, in, in a way, and, and this might be the only fact that, and, and I, um, let me take that back because that's not true. Um, he appeared to be completely healthy. And he was, but he had heart problems. And if your heart stops, it's over. It is over. No matter how, and, what condition you're in, what shape you're in, so it happens. Yeah. So he's in, he's in, you know, remarkable shape. So right here is, is like I said, it refutes those photographs. So are you telling me the pictures that you had? Um, a couple hours after time of death, the medical examiner didn't see that. He saw him after. So how is he not going to see all that stuff? Right here, evidence of injury. No injuries are identified on the external or the internal examination. And so when you're sitting there saying that the medical examiner falsified or lied, what evidence do you have to support that? He hasn't shown any. And like I said, this report would not exist in my hands if there was an open investigation that reliable information which all he has is that picture refutes this yes Pablo you're, you're right it is it's getting annoying but like I said he has to keep going because the lie is he just he's he's out of cards I mean he if his if he concedes, he knows that it's 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 over. Like who's gonna who's gonna follow you now? Like that you've been out here lying for five months with nine videos out in all these community posts talking about everybody's caught. Who is caught? Who like now he's talking about Britney Spears? Like it's like what are you talking so you guys, about? So did you guys see all this? It's always something. It's always something because he has nothing. But yeah, that's 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 hardcore right there. I mean that is. You've never seen that anywhere else. <laughs> and you see the signature is this not this is a real document. So muscle flash, I just I went back to just look at see if I missed any questions. So you were talking about um, putting makeup on cadavers. That's that's fine if they put makeup on him at the service. But how did the where's the wounds at? Where's the wounds at on this report? I'm not saying that to you, but I'm saying that, you know, to him, where are they at on here? Like this medical examiner, I looked up this medical examiner. He's he's got some time. 
He's not going to risk, you know, catching a class one felony over somebody who he doesn't even know. But, you know, the, the more important part is what evidence do you have that refutes this? So until you can come up with evidence that refutes all of this, this is official. Yeah. He can't. You know, um, you know, piece 50 50. I'm not I'm not going to say that. I don't know, you know, if, if that photo was doctored. But what I'm saying is, you know, though, if they were wounds. So first of all, as we all seen them, um, let's just say he got punched in the face and scratched. Even if that was the case, that was not the cause of death. But we know that's not the case. So if that's all you're coming with is is a swollen right, a swollen right cheek and two scratches. That's not going to be enough. Okay, so how is there a bruise? 